WFOS, World's Fastest One Shots. And we're going to be posting this video on YouTube for you. Now, real quick, what you want to be doing is you want to be going to your Google, whatever uh, website engine you want to be using, but you are going to be typing in key clone into the fucking search bar down here. Oh my god, can I, can, can I get this code? Okay, but thank you. Google, now key clone. <laughs> and you're just going to be pressing the solid ice windows key clone right there. From here, you're going to be doing download key clone. Then you're going to export it to a file. You're going to export that file to your windows and there from there to your desktop, etc. Also, what you want to be doing is creating an account so that you will get the key, which I will be showing you in a little bit. <clears throat> You'll be getting the key that goes into your email, which will only be able to be run and used on your hard drive, the hard drive of your computer. If you swap hard drives, you just have to transfer that key over to the new hard drive. So once you download the key clone client, then this these next steps are what you're going to be watching. So once you download that key clone client, <laughs> it's a fucking tongue twister. Key clone client. Once you download that, what you're going to be doing <clears throat> is opening your folder. Now you see that I'm refreshing the page and what I'm going to be doing is running it as administrator. Now, let me just fucking move everything over because it doesn't want to. Okay, so we're going to right click that key clone, the box over here. We're going to do run as admin. And we're going to be showing you how to set this up. So, <clears throat> the first thing you want to be doing is setting up your command editor. This is where the instances of WoW get launched from. So however many WoWs that you have is how many of these you will make. Now, so here what you're going to be doing is typing command 1, then the plus, command, and then WoW 2, plus, WoW 3, plus, etc. So it should, when you're done, look something like this. WoW 1, WoW 2, WoW 3, WoW 4, and WoW 5. Consider, depending on uh, how many uh, games that you're playing. So from there, whether you're playing retail or classic with this multiboxing program, what you can do or how you do it is you would be going to your folder. First, you'd be pressing this program key button, and then you would go to your wherever the World of Warcraft folder is located. You're going to be double clicking that. If it is classic, you're going to be clicking your classic folder up here and then going to just World of Warcraft, not 64, not WoW Launcher, just WoW. You're going to double click that double click that into it same thing with your other uh, clients as well but if you are doing retail then what you have to be doing is going to the World of Warcraft folder going to your retail folder and then World of Warcraft they are different games so they will not load the same you have to if you're if you're five or two to five boxing retail all of them have to be through your retail folder if you're two to five boxing classic all of them have to be through the through the classic folder, etc. So, once you have all of those set up with WoW, however many that you're playing, set up through whichever client you're playing, classic or retail, <clears throat> we're going to go into the maximizer. Okay? Maximizer just uh, puts your World of Warcrafts into different spots on your screen. So, if this is your screen right here, and you're playing five accounts, one screen will be here, another WoW will be there, 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 etc. So if you can see up here, this first one is number one, this next one is number two, three, four, and five. Now how you get this to look like this is you're going to be pressing this plus sign each time you make a new window. <coughs> so the way you get it this neat is uh, when you're first making it, you want to check off this snap to grid and enable maximizer. You always want to enable maximizer, otherwise your games will not be put into these frames. It won't be put into these sections and it'll mess everything up. So what you want to be doing is enabling your maximizer always, but at first you want to be uh, enabling, 
enabling the snap to grid just so you can get these perfect little fucking squares. They do look pretty cool. Anyway, so then you're going to be changing the names. They're going to be like region 1.1, 1.2, etc. But you could just uh, highlight over it, delete it, and then just name it 1, 2, 3, 4, however many you're playing. <clears throat> also, if you do have another screen, then a display 2 will pop up. So, <clears throat> but for right now, we're just using the display 1. So from there, what you're going to be doing is going back to your command editor up here and in each one where it says region you're going to be selecting the corresponding maximizer region so your wow one will be one your two will be two etc etc all right so now that that is done you also want to put these as your do not pass keys. Now do not pass is si simply means that it will not broadcast those keystrokes unless your mouse is in that specific window. I'll go into I'll go more into this in another video, but for right now, all you need to know is that your directional keys are do not pass. So W A S T Q E do not pass those. All right, and your num lock because you don't want all of them to be auto running because then they'll like split up. You don't want that to happen. <clears throat> all right, so once that is done, and you got your fi your five World of Warcrafts over here. Make sure everything's set up good. Get a quick game. One, two. <clears throat> so. What I'm going to be showing you is why I run it as administrator, just so that you know. Don't fuck. <laughs> Don't say anything. This one's really bad. Anyway. So, just so you know why I run it as admin, I'm going to show you why right now. So, right now we didn't run it as admin, and we're going to try to launch these games. So. This error message will, it's very unlikely for it to show up if you run it as an admin. So once these games finish loading, then we are going to be getting into the, uh, we're just going to run it as admin and do it again so you can see it load correctly in a sec. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is just refresh, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to reopen it, run it as administrator, make sure that everything is set up correctly, one, two, three, four, five, okay, cool, and then this is where the magic happens, what you got to do is right in this bar, however you uh, titled your command editor, like WoW1, WoW2, WoW3, WoW4, you're going to be putting those here, right here, with the colon, not the with the semicolon, not the colon. Just the thing next to the to the right of the L. You're going to press that. So it's wow one that thing, and then wow two that thing, etc. Until you are okay with how many clients you want to run. So from here, I'm just going to press connect, and hey, we got it. <laughs> All right. So now it's just going to load all the clients all at once and then I'm going to be showing you the macros for just the basic macros for follow and assist so that we can get you on your way with the uh, with the multiboxing so oh my god I forgot my fucking email All right, cool. That works. So we got that, got that, got that, 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 and that. So my advice to you is, if you are running multiple uh, accounts, put them all under the same email address. You can have as many accounts as you want on the same email. It just makes it easier for you to log into each one, so you don't have to type in a different email every time. So. I mean, yeah. There's a way to make it so that I can just type the freaking password. 
with a click of a button, but I don't care about that. I mean, I'm willing to take the extra 20 seconds to do it, so. It is definitely worth it, though, if you do have time to do it. It's, it's worth it. So, anyway, so, <clears throat> we're going to be going into the macros for you, follow and assist. Which is pretty much your multiboxing bread and butter. Honestly, you macro it with every spell. And then you don't have to touch those spells ever again, because they will automatically rank up as you buy the new spells. So, as long as it's a macro, like a slash cast macro at all, it will automatically rank up the spell as you uh, learn it. So, as you can see here, I already have the macros set up, but I will go over them again for you. Oh my god, server shut down in 2 minutes and 30 seconds. Oh shit, okay, so, the most basic key uh, for you is a uh, basic macro is fucking ugh, fucking two minutes 15 seconds anyway so show tooltip hashtag show tooltip then the next line cast fireball next line assist your main character this guy and then oh you can't even fucking see this shit that's terrible isn't that you can't even fucking see it Oh my Jesus. Okay, there we go. Not sure if you can see that. Can you see that? I don't even know. Alright, anyway, so I will be doing another tutorial on this as well when we get back today because there's a reset, which is honestly the dumbest fucking thing I've ever seen. But anyway, so sh hashtag show tooltip slash cast fireball slash assist your main character slash follow your main character. That way, what that does is it will make you follow your main character and it'll make you assist your main character when you press that macro. That's pretty much your bread and butter for right now, but we will be getting more into that in another video. I do apologize, I've totally blanked and forgot that, you know, server reset was fucking happening, so that's super fun. Damn it. Come on, Blizzard, they just want to know how to multi-box. Jesus Christ. But anyway, guys, we will be back. WFOS, world's fastest one-shots with the full tutorial on how to set up your multi-boxing key clone client. Depending on how many accounts you play, we will be back. <laughs> Alright. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's a wrap. Sorry if you like came in late and it was a little weird, but trying to do a fucking tutorial <laughs> and I got cut out I got cut off by the shutdown that's so fun okay we'll be doing this we'll be doing the tutorial when we get back all right guys peace